to Financial Issues. My name's Dan Celia here on AFR Talk. It's great to be here. I didn't think I was going to be. I, actually, I was trying to fly out. I had three flights cancel on me. Finally, I gave up, and I just said, let's just do it on Wednesday morning. I wouldn't be surprised if Wednesday morning gets canceled. Uh, it is nuts here. We've had uh, 8,000 flights canceled. Uh, I was finally had come to the conclusion that I was going to have to drive two hours to another airport to fly out. I have some appointments in uh, Rogers, uh, Arkansas, and was going to fly out, and then that got canceled. So anyway, here I am. I'm glad to be here. Uh, it is miserable here on the East Coast in the Northeast uh, Carter, as you can imagine. If you heard, we're not used to this whole hurricane thing. Uh, we don't do it very well, and we're not used to it. So there's already flooding um, everywhere. So it's only going to get worse. The winds are just starting to kick up a little bit where I am. But uh, closer to the coast, they've already started. We're not expected to get hit with it. It looks like the eye of the storm is basically hitting uh, Philadelphia at some point in time, I think around 5 o'clock tonight. And they've got uh, major blizzards going on a little bit further west. West Virginia, western part of uh, Virginia, in West Virginia, getting clobbered with snow right now. Fortunately for us, the temperature is not quite low enough to be uh, getting us with snow, thankfully. Last year this time, we got snow. So I'm glad we're not having that. But anyway, we are getting hammered with uh, rain and winds and uh, hoping for the best, of course. Anyway, the markets are closed today. The markets are closed today, obviously, uh, as a result of the storm. So there will not be any uh, markets open today. We'll have to uh, wait and see what happens tomorrow. I wouldn't be surprised if the markets are closed yet again tomorrow. But we'll see based on the flooding that New York City is anticipating. So we'll wait and see what happens there. But U.S. stock indexes this morning were trading lower. Now, the UX, the uh, futures market, the equity index markets, uh, opened at 6 o'clock last night. That's when they normally open. And they are closing this morning at 9.15 Eastern time in about, so that's in about 10 minutes, they're going to be closed. But if they were, if the markets were going to be open, the uh, Dow Industrials fell 75 points in futures trading. So it would have looked like they would have opened, it it was, you know, looking like they would have opened about um, six-tenths of 1% down. But we don't have to worry about that since they're not opening. We will have to worry about the markets. There is a lot of economic news coming out. I want to talk about that. The first piece of economic news that came out uh, came out this morning at 8.30 Eastern Time, consumer spending. It was a number that I was looking forward to seeing. We had saw some, seen uh, some preliminary numbers on Friday when the GDP report came out. That was a different measure and a different index. But consumer spending right now, according to the numbers that came out uh, about 45 minutes ago, Consumer spending is up eight-tenths of 1% for the month of September. Income for the month of September rose four-tenths of 1%. So income did not outpace spending once again. That means when you do the math, personal income, I'm sorry, hold on, personal savings dropped to 3.3%. Do you remember those days a couple of years ago when we were nearing 5% in, in savings rate? Our savings rate now has uh, dropped once again from 3.7% to 3.3%. Because if your spending is, if, if nationally spending is more than income, then that affects negatively the savings rate. We continue to see spending and we also by the way had inflation for the month based on the PCE uh, price index inflation increased four tenths of one percent almost a half of one percent for the month of September so personal income uh, had did not keep pace personal income rose four tenths of one percent and by the way we're still at it um, I, I think we're still at mid 90s level for personal income. 
which is pathetic. Again, we continue to see the median income for families decrease, but spending up eight tenths of one percent, personal income uh, dropped to three point, uh, dropped four tenths of one percent in compared to spending. Income rose four tenths, spending rose eight. The difference is a negative four tenths of one percent leaving the savings rates to drop again from 3.7% for the month of August to 3.3% for the month of September. That is not good news, folks. And let's hope, man, at this rate, we're going to have a savings rate of about zero by the end of the year if we keep this up. We better be careful about our spending. I'm not sure why the spending rate is going up other than some usual kinds of fall spending, back to school spending and such. But that's fine. But we better not allow it to outpace our income. Keep a close tab on that. Okay, from a family perspective, from your personal perspective. Also, we've got Case Shiller home prices for the month of August are coming out tomorrow morning. We have the Confidence Board releasing its index of consumer confidence for the month of October. That's also out tomorrow. Another thing that's out tomorrow, something I normally would not even mention it, but I'm going to be watching it closely. Bank of Japan officials hold policy meetings. That is uh, equivalent to their Fed policy meeting. There, is, there are rumors right now that Japan is going to be headed into a major monetary easing uh, uh, place in the next month. Now, Japan, by the way, are the masters of printing money. If you think the U.S. is good, you're, you've not watched Japan over the last 12 years. They have it down to a science. Now they are looking at a major increase in that monetary easing. I put on my Facebook this morning, I sent it out on Twitter. Facebook is at Financial Issues, is my Twitter, and Facebook is Financial Issues. And I said something about this indicating that uh, could this be the beginning of currency wars? They're going to devalue their dollar so much, it's going to make their trade uh, very, very competitive. Uh, it's going to uh, give pause for concern to other currencies around the world as to what they're doing with their currencies. Listen, the fact of the matter is, though, and I know they're having a meeting on it tomorrow, as I just said, the fact of the matter is they're going to have to do it anyway because they are in the same boat that America's in. 